I think that's enough waiting around. If I sound different, it's because uh, I actually got a decent mic now. No more uh, gamer headsets. I got a legit... Come on. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure that my mic wasn't picking up my fan. Uh, I got a legit gamer setup now. Or streamer setup. So I'm now rolling with uh, Audio-Technica 2020. It's pretty sweet. I don't know if it's working or not. It could be, and I wouldn't even know. Or it could not be, and I wouldn't even know. But yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. I was testing it a lot over the weekend. I got it on Saturday, and it took a lot not to just like start streaming with it randomly. Unfortunately, because it's a, uh, I guess, an open mic, you can probably hear my dogs. But I'm hoping the nail, I'm hope, oh wait, there's reverb on this, I forgot. I was uh, experimenting with a lot of different audio stuff. Let me disable the reverb. Yeah, reverb. Is it filters? Reverb. There you go. Now there shouldn't be a reverb, hopefully. Yeah, I like this thing. It's got a it's got a nice stand and everything. It's cool. Wasted a lot of money. A lot of good money. And uh I had to get an audio ah, an audio interface with it as well. So yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Uh Continuing the playthrough of Ace Combat 5 on Ace difficulty. Which hasn't been too hard. I think I've only gotten like two game overs uh, in my time. Or in my time playing it. That timer is not correct, by the way. So the plan is, is to get... I'm a little more than halfway. Uh, mission 14. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, so I'm on mission 14. The goal is to get to mission 21 by tonight and then finish the next seven missions by next Wednesday, or not next Wednesday, by Wednesday, hopefully. Uh, if there is a stream on Wednesday. If there isn't a stream on Wednesday, I'll most likely do Ace Combat on Friday with my mecha games. Or I may just cancel one of the mecha games and finish up Ace Combat 5 on that day. So it'll be, I don't know. It would be like last last uh, last Friday. Uh, new follower, big ups Bodega Rat, big fan. Also, big ups to Airman Joker again for the six month sub from last Saturday. Very cool. Very much appreciated. All right, let's continue. Oh man. Ice Cage. I guess I'll just go ahead and rewatch the cutscene. I do need to figure out a better mic placement, though, because I kind of feel like it gets in the way of the camera, but it doesn't look like it's messing with my tracking, so I guess that's good. I mean, I could always lean into it and fix it, but... I'm also losing eye tracking because I'm so far away and I'm wearing glasses. What a shame. Many such cases. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sweet. I'm looking at my audio levels and everything looks pretty good, but actually, never mind, you can't hear any gameplay audio. There you go. Now you should hear it. You didn't miss anything. I literally missed nothing. Uh, the mic that I was using before I just got this Audio Technica was just a shitty Astro 40. It's not bad. It sounds pretty decent audio wise, but microphone wise, it's crap. I. I hated listening to myself speak on it. And then I got this one, I was like, whoa, I sound so clear, there's no grain. Or static, or whatever. It's no weird, inter like, I don't know, audio shit going on with it. I'm, I'm no professional when it comes to audio stuff. 
uh, I looked up a YouTube video to try to figure out how to get this thing set up and nothing really helps so I had to listen to my own feedback for a while until I got it all sorted out it was awful I hated trying to talk and listen to my I hated trying to talk and listen to myself at the same time I couldn't do it but uh I, I managed to sort it out and I managed to find a pretty good audio or I guess some pretty good settings for it uh, I feel like I come across a lot more clear now. I guess I could put the pop filter on, maybe filter out even more noise, but you don't really need a pop filter, honestly. Um, you only ever need one. I wouldn't even say you need one. I'll, one of the best things you can do in order to like prevent your P's and B's from popping so much is to just tilt the mic. Because sound works that way. Uh, you know, the P isn't just, or the B. That was going to sound really weird if I just said P. Ah, whatever, we'll go with it. The P isn't hitting the mic directly on, so instead when you angle the mic, it kind of bounces off the mic, rather than just the mic absorbing the full P. I forgot if this was a ground mission or an air mission. Whatever, we're going with air. Because the fake 22 is really shit. I guess I could have just gone with the. Uh, just bought my bought new my squad like entire new planes. And eh, maybe on the next mission I'll probably go with the S. Su 27 or is it F Su 47? I forget what it is. I don't fuck with Russian shits. No. Yeah. You think the captain? Uh, I mean, Captain Bartlett, you think he's in there? Nah. I bet he is. He's probably busy cussing out all the other POWs and taking charge right now. Right, Nagasay? <sighs> You're not still blaming yourself, are you? Oh, yeah. On top of that, I also got a new controller for my PS2. Because the other one I was literally struggling to hold R1. Now it's just, oh man, it's so smooth now. It's insane. Although it feels a little too much now. But I guess that's what I need. Oh man, the buns aren't loose or anything. They feel nice and responsive. Jeez. Actually, maybe a little too responsive. Yeah, a little too responsive. Alright, let's just go in. Maybe I should have gone with air to ground. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I posted it underneath the comment. Don't make me look, because I'm going to look. Don't mess with me, Eschaton. Yes, it is. It's there. It's underneath the thing. Yeah, it's underneath my comment. It's underneath the initial comment. Uh, Twitter has this weird thing where if you post a link in your initial comment, it'll slightly suppress your your comment. So it's usually better to post your link to your stream at the second comment rather than the initial comment. Yes, I'm literally looking at it right now, dude. Maybe refresh the page. I'm a professional streamer now, Eschaton, okay? Eschaton? Whatever. It's one of those. I'm a, I'm Mr. Big League now. Yeah, that's all it is. It's false echoes. 
I'm just gonna use up all my pro streamer. You have no idea how pro I am, dude. Did my missiles not go? Uh, what are you barking at? Hey, no, 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 there's nothing out there. You can't even see outside. That window's blocked off by a shelf. Nah. I may just have to wear, wear these buns out a little bit more. That's uh, that's kind of what it feels like right now. Brand new controller. Got him. But uh, how you doing, Escatone? How's your day been? I didn't kill him. Ah, that's good to hear. Just chilling, I'm assuming. No, stop. Oh man, this guy is giving me the slips right now. Bruh, just go down, finally, jeez. Making me waste like eight missiles. Uh, my day went pretty good. Uh, I actually went back, like, today was like my first day back to work in like three weeks, so... Trying to remember how things worked again was uh, weird. But, uh, I don't know. It's fine. I think I got, like, three days left to work anyways at this job, so it should be fine. Hey, quit it. What are you even we What are you weirding out about, dog? There's, like, literally nothing out there. My dog's over here freaking out about something. It's literally nothing. Like, with the amount of worrying that this dog does, I swear he's going to give himself a heart attack one day. forget actually how long this mission is. It shouldn't be that long, because if, if this is the mission that I think it is, it, it's not that long. At least it shouldn't be, but knowing me, I'll, I'll make it go, drag on forever. Hey, they got it for me. Hmm. Uh, I was about to say, why isn't my D-pad working? And it was just because it was giving me a a yes or no prompt. Got it. Let's go bring these boys home. But yeah, I don't know. Work was fine. It's just, uh, it's literally just the same bullshit as it was when I left, or before I went on vacation. It just drag shit on longer than it needs to.
Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. God damn it! God damn it! I wasn't paying attention to the freaking thing. And of course, no checkpoint, so I gotta do it all over again. Can't believe I did that. Yes, I see it. I don't even see it. I'm just selling it. Yes. No. Oh my god. I can't believe that shit. Oh well. Maybe I'll do it better this time. Hey, what are y'all doing? Friggin' weirdos. Quit it. Snap your finger and then they stop. I don't know. I think there's coyotes outside right now. They're usually around, they, they usually start coming out around this time of the year. I don't know why. But, uh, I don't know. Luckily, the coyotes don't come around to, you know, our house that often. I think it's just because there's a lot of other dogs out in this area. So they just choose not to come out here. But I have seen them on my neighbor's farm. Usually just behind the fence, sneaking around, looking for either chickens or smaller animals that they can catch and eat. They look pretty cool, but I don't, I try not to mess with them. So, I also can't take the dogs out for a walk at night anymore, just because I don't want to run into them either. I guess I could carry my 1911 with me just in case, but... Jeez. Hey, quit it! What are you barking at? There's literally nothing out there. Man, if you're asking, I could go for some, like, kiwis, maybe a hot chocolate, uh, some wings. I love wings. I had wings last night. I made them. Really good stuff. I could I uh I couldn't find my lemon pepper though. I just bought some and I forgot where I put it. So no lemon pepper wings unfortunately. A lot of buffalo wings though. Those are always good. Get him. Come on. Got him. Nice. Alright. Let's better get them. Because I don't want to have to chase them. Hey! What are you doing? Why are you acting up now? You never do this. Well, he does sometimes. When, uh... When he's getting cranky and he wants his water filled. Starts to... Throw his bowl around. Like he's a baby throwing a tantrum. Unless it's the feds outside. Then uh, I may have a problem. I think they're plenty stupid. 
I'm really waiting to like. I really want to start Ace Combat Zero because I've only played it once. What? Jeez. You're not even asking for attention. You just want to fight whatever's out there, don't you? Hey, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Why'd they disappear and then reappear? Oh, Grim, all you do is complain. He's basically an A1C. <laughs> what? There we go. That should be most of them, hopefully. No, that's three. Okay, I don't want to waste any more special missiles. Nailed it. Yes, geez, calm down. I swear to these people, man. Oh man, he juked me. Bro, this dude. Okay, I hope this guy doesn't be as much of an asshole. Oh yeah, so I don't think the Zone of the Enders 2 is going to be for a while, just because I haven't been able to find it on sale. Uh, I really wanted to start it next week, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that way. Or, I, I really wanted to start it this Friday, but I don't think it's going to go down, just because I can't find it on sale. I managed to find it on... Is it Fanatical? I think. Yeah, I found it on Fanatical for like 15% off or something like that. But, oh man, it's still expensive. I should have bought it. Dog, what are you doing? There's literally, literally nothing outside. Like, uh, I should have bought it two weeks ago when I found it on Indie Gallo for like five ninety nine, but I didn't, and I went back to Indie Gallo to check it out, and it was it was already gone. All right, this dog's acting up, so I'm gonna have to put him outside, or not outside, but he can't be in my room right now. Come on, come on. All right.
I don't know what I don't know what's going on with this dog right now. Because I literally just ran downstairs to see if there was anything out there. There's nothing out there. So the only other thing I could think of is probably skinwalkers. So if uh if the stream ends, you know, just randomly, and Skinwalker got me, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depends how you look at it. I'll literally be living I'll literally be living my uh my Halloween special. So that'll be fun. Move my mic out of the way. I'm, like getting gamer focused right now. Easy. There's like four more targets. No more? No more A? Awesome. Yeah, my dog is being a schizo right now. Now he's all calm now that I ran down now that I went downstairs and looked at looked for, you know, anything out of the ordinary and there's literally nothing out there. Friggin' dogs, man. I'll bark at anything. I guess that's a good thing though. Oh no. Let's see if dispersal does anything because uh, I'm tired of my dudes like just tracking stuff and then not hitting anything oh yeah hey uh what's up Zen yeah Ace Combat's like one of my favorite games or what one of my favorite series um I did Ace Combat oh, which reminds me I forgot to put on the I forgot to put on the gear so that way it's more immersive there we go. Uh, but yeah, Ace Combat f uh, well, 5 series is basically one of my favorite uh, game series as a whole. Um, it literally shaped my future. <laughs> uh, Ace Combat 5 like inspired me to do a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, uh, some things didn't plan out, but I don't know. Maybe it was for the best, maybe it wasn't, but uh, what I ended up doing as a result was really cool. And got to do a lot of cool stuff. Went to a lot of cool places. Okay, I didn't go to a lot of cool places. Oh, Ace Combat X. Yeah, Ace Combat X was pretty cool. That was uh, I had it on P on the PSP, and I always played that like every time I was on the bus to school, either on the bus to school or on the bus coming from school, or just whenever I had free time. It was really nice just being able to play Ace Combat wh wherever I wanted to. Uh, oh no! But right now, so I'm I'm basically going to be playing like the entire Ace Combat series right now, or maybe before the year ends. Um, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, I'm on. I did four. I'm on five. Oh no, Nagase! I did four. I'm on five. I'm actually almost done with five. I'm like halfway done. A little more than halfway. Uh, and then after that, it's going to be Ace Combat Zero, and then Six, and then Seven, and then maybe, maybe I'll play Assault Horizon, <laughs> but I'll probably won't. 
Uh, I did not care much for Assault Horizon. I remember playing the demo and just not being impressed. The stupid on-rails shit that they put in that game was awful. I hated it so much. Oh no! Uh, we'll be fine. Let's just go pick her up. Yeah. I'm just filling with hope. Can we end the mission now? Okay, thank you. Um. But yeah, that's that's kind of my plan. I've been wanting to revisit the Ace Combat series for a while now. Uh, basically ever since I played 7. Uh, I played 7 last year, and then I started a second playthrough earlier, or like, later this year. Uh, oh, you've only played X and 7? Oh, you, you need to find a way to play 4, 5, and 0. Those are the pinnacle. People consider those the pinnacle of Ace Combat. Um, 6 is pretty good. It's on the Xbox 360. Um... It's only on the Xbox 360, which kind of sucks, because 6 is a pretty good game, despite how cheesy it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, um, the, I, I hear people say that 3 is also one of the best ones, but uh, in terms of PS2, all, all three of them on the PS2 are really good. Uh, I wouldn't skip any of them. I do have Ace Combat 3 on the PS1, but it's the American version, so it's only half the game. Uh, the Japanese version is a full Ace Combat 3, and unfortunately the American version is uh, is only half the game, which kind of sucks. A blue dove for the princess. That was the title of the book she left behind. Yeah, Ace Combat X is pretty good. It's like I said, it was, it was one of my favorite ones as well. I, I I often forget about it just because it's it's a portable game, so I, you know, it's whatever really. But I may end up playing X. I know there was a second Ace Combat game on the PSP, but I heard that one wasn't as good. There is an Ace Combat on the 3DS. It's called uh, Assault Horizon Legacy. And that's actually, despite it having the same name as the console version, um, despite having the same name as the console version, Ace Combat uh, Assault Horizon Legacy is actually a remake of Ace Combat 2. 4, 5, and 0 would totally play Assault Horizon Legacy on 3DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have it, I just haven't gotten around to playing it. I maybe want to get, maybe want to try it on an emulator. So that way I can use a PS2 controller to play it and see how that works out. Uh, I'm actually playing Ace Combat 5 now on Ace difficulty. I've never really played an Ace on, or an Ace Combat game on anything higher than maybe normal or hard. Yeah. Uh, I played Ace Combat 4 on hard, and then I decided to try this one on Ace. Uh, most likely for Zero, I'll just play it on normal. Uh, maybe Ace Combat 7, since I have it unlocked, I'll play it on Ace difficulty. This transmission is extremely weak. We cannot confirm her location unless we get closer to the source of the signal. Follow the signal to find Captain Nagase's concealed location as quickly as possible. Once you find her, report her location to the Sea Goblin Helicopter Squadron. The helicopter search and rescue team is expected to face stiff opposition from enemy air and ground forces. After the helicopter team picks up Captain Nagase, provide air support for them as they airlift her out. Hey, big up, Zen. Thanks for the follow. It means a lot. It really does. Alright, so easy. Just go rescue Nagase. 
How hard can that be? Uh, let me see how much cash I got. Maybe try some new jets. Let's see. The Hawks. Oh man, does it come with Tony? Got some MIGs. Nah. 80. I'm mainly looking for stuff that's got a lot of missiles. Let's see. Yeah, I got enough to buy some SU-47s. I don't know if I'm going to use them yet, though. Uh, they may be... Uh, got, got one of these yahoos. Oh, uh, we got multiple yahoos. Big follows, awesome. Let's see, give me a minute. Gotta pause my stream and I gotta be extra toxic now. Ban. And delete. Oh no wait, no, I meant to ban. Shoot. Ah, whatever. I can do it. I can do it later. There we go. Ban. Ban, 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 ban. Gotta unleash my inner DSP now. I gotta get that audio clip. You'll love to see it. I, I love to see it too. I gotta get that audio clip of DSP saying ban, 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 ban while he's dressed as a Nazi. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. It's my... There we go. My camera was a little off rotation there we go all right let's go rescue nagase i don't know if this is going to be a i really should pay attention to the briefings <laughs> you know what we're gonna roll with we're just gonna use them i forget what the su-47s are i forget if they're russian or if there's something else it don't matter. They're all planes anyway. Besides... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I like these missiles. They're pretty cool. You just gotta stay locked on them. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna focus on getting her first. Yes. Alright, I think we're going in the right way. No. Uh, yeah, that's what I just told you to do. It's okay, I'll find her before he does. Hey, I'm getting there. We're doing it. Beep, 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 beep. Where is it at? Jeez, I just like went in circles around it. Alright. Where the hell is it? There it is. Oh, come on. How does it have that much maneuverability? Oh, what the hell hit me? Nah, I ain't coming for you. I just died. Yeah, I, I somewhat remember the morality system in Ace Combat Zero, um, but like I said, I only played it once, so I don't remember it a lot. I do remember it was like you had, it let you choose between like 
what was it, like Ace, Mercenary, or Knight, or something like that. I remember something like that in the game. But I don't remember a lot other than maybe it altered missions that you you were going to go on. But, uh, I mean, it seemed pretty cool. Uh, I just got to go back and retry it again. You know, no. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll say yes this time. That's not a person. Sorry, my mistake. Sea Goblin to War Dog Leader. I'm honing in on your signal. The signal's changing. Looks like you're gradually getting closer to... Alright, there we go. Gotta take this dude out now. It's being jammed! Something just moved in the forest! I better hurry, or else the enemy will get to him first. Oh, come on. How does it have that much maneuverability? You mean? Hold your fire! They're firing at me. Come on, get off my ass! Okay, got it. All right, which way are you? There we go. Oh shit! Holy fuck! Fuck! Yeah, I know, but I literally have all these people on my ass right now, and you guys aren't helping. Yo, what the heck just hit me? I seriously just get hit by a machine gun? Alright, depending on morale, you get different fights against groups. Oh, okay. Knights, you just have to take out strictly and spare retreating. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, where are you at? I really want to get these guys off my ass right now. Okay, I shouldn't have gone with the SU-47. Yep, can y'all attack, please? There she is. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe, maybe I did mercenary because I remember taking out a lot of, taking out a lot of targets, and the game just getting like really hard at some point. Because uh, I, I remember Ace Combat Zero being rare, fairly difficult. Yo, what the heck hit me? How did my health go down to 88? Am I getting hit by machine gun? I think I am. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't believe this mission. Alright, I'm switching to the F-22s again. I, I hate the... I hate this one. I friggin' hate this mission.
All right. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing up, Zen. Thanks for the follow. Uh, welcome here anytime. All right. Let me switch to the F twenty twos now because I really was not enjoying these. I I, I don't like the special mi the special missiles on them. They're kind of garbage. I don't know. They're good when when you're not trying to you know, dogfight. They work better to snipe with. Yes. Oh man, that was a mission. I guess I shouldn't have been going after the ace pilot or the ace pilot on this one, because he's a bit of an asshole. He kept dodging all my shits. Now I gotta waste time looking for him again. I'm looking for Nagase again. Easy. Who is even tracking me? Kid, do you understand how to view the distress signal sensor on your HUD? Yes. Okay, just checking. Make sure you don't miss Nagase's signal. I'm okay. I can keep going. Hey Blaze! Did you see someone below us just now? No. There's literally nothing down there yet, Chopper. take out these AAs here. Maybe they took down the chopper last time, although I doubt it. my dog again being a schizo Got it. Easy. Got him. Oh shit, it didn't destroy him. But I managed to hit both of them, so that's good. I didn't get my second missile out on time. Got it. Alright. I think I'm doing it this time. But that's also because I managed to get the ace on like one hit. Alright, MIG. Let's go. Got him. Super easy. Alright, Nagase, where are you at? Yeah, she already did. There 
There we go. Beep, 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 beep. What is that? Oh, it's this asshole. Yes. Okay, I should have saved my missiles for this, but I... Got him. Well, go attack then, Chopper. Jeez. Oh, man. Where? Where are you being targeted at? Oh, AA. Shit. Uh, escort missions are the worst. Why are they in this game? I'm like starting to think that like Ace Combat 5 maybe isn't my favorite Ace Combat anymore. What is that? That better not be a Sam. Easy. That's definitely her. I can see her plates in from here. Four miles. Kobo, you do with the pursuing units. I'll go save the princess. Got it. Okay. Where is this dude? Flying circles are. Oh shit! Last thing I need to do is crash into another plane. Again. Alright, we're going too far. Yeah, we're getting way too far from... Getting way too far from the... from the chopper. I mean, I guess it was a good thing, because now I feel like they're just gonna, like, target the chopper now that I'm, like, right on it. Ah, it's just a chopper. Easy. Alright, was that just an F-22? Easy. Got him. Head on. I know, I'm good. Mission accomplished. Hell yeah. I'm amazing at this game. That first try didn't count. That was a that was a test run. Hate you, Chopper. Easy shit. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be playing Ace Combat Zero on Ace difficulty. As much as I like playing right now, it's gonna be way too much. It's gonna be way too much bullshit, especially that final mission. I already hate that one, so it's a cool fight, but I'm not going to have fun with it on Ace. It's the Ridge Racer chick. When the rescue team found her, she was holding captive a group of soldiers who were sent in to capture her. Behind her was the helicopter crew that crashed while trying to rescue her. 
he had saved them, treated their wounds, and hid them in a safe place. I needed to rethink my image of her after this, after seeing her amazing toughness and tenacity. She even managed to obtain a little information from the soldiers she captured. It seems the people of Yuktabania were also beginning Strong to have woman who don't need no one. in the current war. And word of Nagase's squadron was getting around, as the force that sunk two of their most powerful submarines. The Yuk army soldiers had nicknamed them the Demons of Raz Grease. Oh! She was obviously very proud of that when she told me about it later. Perhaps her pride was for Captain Bartlett, the man who had trained them. Or maybe it was for her current captain. However, nobody in the upper echelons of her own army was proud of them. Bartlett was still missing, and that made his old trainees the subject of suspicion and criticism. Cool cutscene. What? What do you mean it's our turn to choose? This better not be one of those bullshit side missions. Okay, Desert Arrow. This is easy. It's literally just destroy everything and destroy everything on site. Well, this is it. Our ground forces will engage in a decisive battle with the enemy's main force in the Jalachi Desert. If our army wins, I hate this dude so much. Might, we'll be just a hair Reminds me of many of back office people that I had a run in with. People that only cared about their own careers and not about what happened on the, you know, uh, whatever happened on flights. It's final target is at fucking bullshit. Hated it. The field HQ in the northern region, mission area, and the airfield in the western. Back office people always, always looking to further their own careers and looking after their own. Your mission this time is to protect both units from defending enemy forces. I mean, I had a few friends in back office that were pretty cool, but I mean, once they go back office, it's there's no coming back. So choose your opponents carefully. You get into that cushy lifestyle of working, what, like, 8 to 3, no bullshit exercises, no... I don't know, what am I working with? Oh, shit ton of ground targets, easy. Yeah, just... No, bu no bullshit. I mean, there's a lot of bullshit, but... They, they had to deal with less bullshit... These motherfuckers in back office thought it'd be a good idea to hold a night crew over and, like, hey, uh, have your boys stay after work, after a midnight, or after a all-night shift, so we can run three miles for fun, for morale. And I was like, thanks, uh, thanks, Commander. Yeah, I, I totally want to do that. I've, I've been up since, what? What time did I wake up? I, I, I usually woke up at like 3 p.m. And then would have to work from like 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. And yeah, I like, after all that shit, I really want to... I really want to run three and a half miles. You know, as the sun's coming up. And then go home and then have to take a shower. And then, you know, waste more time. Waste more time getting food because I'm super fucking hungry after your three and a half mile run. And then get like four hours of sleep and then come back and do another 12 hour night shift. That was fun. Really wasn't. It was total fucking bullshit. Like, how that, how that shit was able to slide, I have no idea. Because I, I rem- What are you doing? What was that? What? You're starting to act up now, dog. You're like Frankie. Except you're bigger. 
and you're more of a pushover. I forgot to save. Just sit there. Sit there and enjoy the silence, dog. Jeez. This dog is way- no, dog. You're way too big for that. This dog over here trying to sit on my lap. Like he's a puppy. What? God. You're literally a baby. You're like 10 years old now. And you want to still act like a baby. Launch. I don't know how you got this spoiled. Man, this is ridiculous. I can't believe they this reminds me of uh, that Twitter cool. post. A couple of Oh, that may, might have been a couple of months ago, where some guy was like, why does it look like that? And it was like, bruh, have you never seen a farm before? Brigham City folks ain't never seen a farm before. Alright, let's do this. No, stop. Down. 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 Ow, you fucker. Down. Yeah, so I to get the dog off my bed. All he does is just get up there and try to stare out the windows and bark at anything that looks like remotely whatever. Yeah, that's us. And how did that miss? Hey, quit it! So yeah, I'm thinking after Ace Combat 5, I'm gonna take a break from the Ace Combat games, and I'm probably gonna play something else. Uh, Something not too long, uh, just something to break it up a little bit. Battleship. God, I keep forgetting to, I keep forgetting to talk to you about that battleship shit, dude. But, uh, oh man, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get, like, all the missions that I wanted done today. Oh my god, yes you did, you fucking asshole. No one cares for him. The enemy's coming. A whole pack of them. I can see the ground pretty well. And the bandits, too. Don't take them all alone. You'll be throwing away your life. Don't worry about the airspace above. Just concentrate on the attack. AC-130, let's go. Guys, Yo, how did that miss? That's some bullshit. Quit it! What are you even freaking out about? Get down. Get down from there. All you do is go up there and you start crying at like literally nothing, dog. This dog's like the biggest crybaby. I don't know why. Enemy plane sighted. Watch out. Enemy approaching at high speed. 
And, like, he never used to be like this when he was a puppy. And then he just got older, and I don't know, it, I guess he just got... I, got it, I guess he got brain damage or something. Because now all he does is just cry. Oh my god. Asshole stole my kill. And I know he's not looking for attention. Because he doesn't do this when he wants attention. If he wants attention, he'll literally start cl climbing all over me. No, you just want to go out there and bark at something. And then you're going to get beat up because you don't know how to fight. You get beat up by Chihuahuas, dog. What are you, what are you even doing? Oh, it's the guys. Oh my god, this dog. And I know he doesn't need to go outside because I literally let him outside before before starting. So he just wants to go out there and bark at whatever's out there and then get beat up and then he's gonna get beat up and then he's gonna cry about it. Shit, I stalled. I didn't think I could stall doing that. Machine gun fire. Asshole stealing my kills, man. You know what? I thought I'd be fighting more ground targets. That's why I went with this one. Yes, jeez. Like, Grim, all you do is freak out about shit. You know what, Escatone? I'll play Battleship with you uh, this Saturday. This Saturday we'll do we'll do Battleship on Tabletop Simulator if it has it. If not, we'll uh, we'll do it like how I used to have to play Battleship in like middle school, where you have to fold a sheet of paper. Or so I I, I remember this in middle school where you would take a sheet of paper, you draw on it. You draw like your troops and stuff on it, and then your opponent would have to draw on his side, fold the page over, and then like complete the complete the dot on the other side, so that way it marks where it where it hits. That was a fun game. It was like troops were one hit, tanks were three hits, helicopters were I think two hits. It's pretty fun. Oh shit, oh shit! Jeez. It's freaking planes, man. I don't even know what the objective is for this mission. No, I don't care. Jeez, Chopper. You're such an asshole. This friendly AI in this game is so shit. They actually did get better in Ace Combat 6 though. 
by a 15. You know, it told me that there would be way more ground targets out here than there would be air targets, and here I am wasting missiles and shit. Speaking of heat melting your brain, I remember this one time when I was in BMT. Uh, I don't want to say he was a buddy, but he was just a guy that I knew. Got a dehydration. And I had to escort him to the... To the trainer. To, you know, so that way they could talk to him and, you know, kind of keep him conscious until medical came. But I think it was mainly just like... Like, listen, kid, we told you to drink your water, so why are you being fucking stupid and not drinking your water, and you're literally about to fucking die on us? And, uh, like, guy was just, like, <laughs> freaking out. I mean, he was kind of freaking out a little bit, because, like, he wasn't in trouble, but he, the, 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 the fucking instructor, MTI, whatever, was, like, giving him that talk, like, you know you fucked up, right? <laughs> but, like, he wasn't giving it in that, like, tone where it's, like, you know, like, you're in trouble type shit. It's just more like, I'm disappointed in you. Why the fuck weren't you drinking your water? And, uh, turned out the dude had sickle cell anemia, too. Which is even worse for if, you know, you're dehydrating. Like, dude literally could have fucking died because he didn't drink water. But, uh, I, I remember, I guess, in, I guess when he was getting talked to, the instructor was like, you know, if you die, you know, what, what of your dreams? And then the instructor just asked him, like, like, what do you want to be? And he's just like, I want to be president. And I was like, this motherfucker don't want to be president. You fucking liar. I knew that guy. And I was like, you, you literally never said you wanted to be fucking president. You're literally just making shit up right now. But, uh, instructor took it. It was just like, well, how are you going to be president if you, uh, if you fucking die? And he's just like, well, point taken, I guess. Actually, yeah, no. I need y'all still to be dispersed. What's my missile count at? 31? Nah, it's fine. I'm literally not getting hit by AA. That's what I hate about the tr the lock-on system in this game. It'll literally track onto anything but the one that you want to look at. Or or anything but the one that you're looking at. Like, see? I try to lock on this one. And it just don't want to lock on. It's bullshit. I hate it. Uh, what is it, 11... It. Man, if I hit that thing and I got a game over, I literally would have just fucking quit. Man, I'm literally just trying to snipe a watchtower going 
what? How fast am I going? 200? Yeah, why did he need three hits with the machine gun to take out a watchtower? So am I supposed to go down now? Or am I just supposed to destroy everything in like the area? Is that it? Is that the mission? Roger. mission complete. Returning to base. Can I go home? I'd like to go home now and go on leave. Probably not. I guess I gotta go take out this shit over here. Yeah, I'm just that good. Now I'm running low on missiles and bombs. No, I'm not. I want to go home. I was fading out for a while there, but I'm still good. So, did I win? Or do I just need to let the timer run out? Mission update. Okay. Okay, so this is literally just a time waster mission. It's like the worst kind of missions that I hate. The ones where it's just, there's no real objective in the beginning, and then they don't want to like give you the real objective until you've wasted like 20 minutes of your time. I like Ace Combat, I really do. But it's they they really know how to like make missions that just don't fucking do anything. Let's get this jammer. Alright, easy. That's one down. Shit, I'm stalling. Uh, how did that miss at that close range? Yeah, I did that. Single handedly. Easy shit. I think I was trying to get to mission 21, so let's see what mission I'm on now. I think we've only done like five missions, so I'm probably on mission 19. I don't even think I've done five. I think I may have done like four. We'll find out. Uh, do I have to? Well, at least it's not a carrier. Freaking aircraft carriers are the to worst to land Two on. To Luckily, they took them out. To I'm pretty sure they took them out after Ace Combat 4, because no one liked them. No, I'm not. Down. Shut up. 
Easy. Easy. This dude saying I'm coming in too fast. Perfect. I'm in always at the Stand right speed. For your next yeah, whatever. I already got all the Chivos or whatever all for this game. Was a success. Yuktabania's field headquarters and the airfield both fell to our forces. The Ocean Army is advancing quickly on all fronts, and enemy forces in the northern part of the Jalachi Desert are on the verge of being annihilated. The ground forces, fresh from securing the Jalachi area of operations, have set off for Kuik Fortress in their quest to liberate Sinegrad. Our ground forces have scored a major victory. This dude if we again. Can destroy the fortress standing in our path. We'll yeah, had I known this fight would or this mission would have been so aircraft heavy, I would have just gone with the normal F-22 rather than the ground one, like how the mission made me believe it was going to be. Let's see, what mission am I on? 16, so this is 17. Yeah, 17. Sweet. So yeah, it only has been three. But I guess that's just because I've gotten like two game overs, so it feels like I've done way more. We're holding a piece oh, of I hate this dude. In November City. Our vice president be giving a speech to rally the citizens. Now, uh, you've been asked to do a flyby above the ceremony. Don't screw this up! I'll you screw everything up. And do your part to boost citizen morale. This is the vice president we're dealing with here. Now consider this a guard detail as well. And be prepared for anything out there. Your mission this time takes place above November International Stadium, a gigantic 70,000-seat arena. Oh no, it's this mission. November, on the southern coastline of Ocean. Vice President Appleroot is giving a speech there, and you will be conducting a flyby above the stadium as part of the production. You can return to base at 1730 hours, the time the speech is scheduled to end. After the flyby, remain in formation and conduct a combat air patrol in and around the stadium until that time. This is a ceremonial flight, but you will be fully armed in case of an emergency. Don't forget to patrol mm. the airspace surrounding the stadium, too. Alright, this is easy. It's literally just going to be a dogfight. See where save. I want to save one more time. Always got to save. You know what? The good thing about work now is that there's only three days left. Uh, we're only working three days this week, so that's pretty cool. Just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and tomorrow's Tuesday, which might as well be Wednesday. Easy day. Well, I don't know. I don't know how easy tomorrow's gonna be. They, they're constantly making up bullshit for work. It's fucking stupid. Alright, we're going with the F-22s. Well, Captain, which plane should I use? Are we launching in this formation? War dog, launch. Yeah, like, we should have been done with this project, like, a month ago. But for whatever reason, they thought it, they thought it was a good idea to make us paint the entire structure that we put up. Like it was just like, why? They, there's no point to it. Yeah. Great. Let's begin. But yeah, now that we've been painting that entire structure, awning, whatever, it's just been... It's time. Begin your ceremonial flight. It's been a pain in the ass. I hate it. You're gonna make this look like shit so bad. Like, not even doing this properly. Captain, you're falling out of formation. Oh no. Blaze, hold the center of the formation. 
Okay. I hate this one so much, so much. Uh. I'm making this shit look like shit. Honestly, the, the people down there don't fucking care. They see planes and they look, oh, so cool. So cool. And it's like, no, it's not. We're, we're doing shit up here. I hate this one so much. Oh, and then we just, we, we split off. Yeah. This is cool. I hate this friggin I'm so glad I never had to partake in one of these before or uh, I had to stand guard the most I ever had to stand guard for was uh, what do you call um, I had to stand guard for a graduation ceremony when I was in BMT and it wasn't bad it was just weird Yay. Here comes the thunderous applause. I hear no applause. Oh, there it is. guys are done already. Watch. Got him already. <laughs> what a scrub. Imagine crashing on takeoff. That actually remind. Well, it, it wasn't a crash on takeoff, but when I was deployed, some asshole fucking crashed into a bomb with a forklift and <laughs> basically made it so that way the entire runway had to be evacuated. The entire airstrip had to be evacuated. That was fun. That was great. This fucking dumbass decides to just get on a forklift and hit a bomb. That was being loaded up onto something else. I forgot what it was. I forgot what the bomb was getting loaded onto. But I don't even know how he crashed into it. I think he like just backed into it and it caused it to, or you know, just bumped it. And then luckily I didn't have to deal with that shit. I'm so glad I didn't have to deal with that. Got him. But, oh man, I can't believe that shit happened. That shit happened too while I was asleep. Like, <laughs> would have been so mad if that shit woke me up. I had no idea. There were very few things that made me happy while I was deployed. One was sleep, and the other was going to the gym. It was the only things that like legit made me happy while I was deployed. I hated the food so much. 
I've never been so angry to eat before. Uh, there's this, uh, there's this one, uh, what do you call it? One incident, uh, where a staff sergeant was eating his, his dinner. I think it was dinner, or maybe it was like midnight breakfast. Because, uh, they, they served four hot meals a day. Uh, lunch, breakfast, or breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then there was like midnight breakfast. Where they, they did kind of like a combination of like what, whatever was left over for dinner and breakfast. Or fresh cooked breakfast. And, uh... I guess the staff sergeant that was eating just got so fed up with the food, he chucked his fucking apple juice across the room. Hey, what's going on, Ako? It's good to see you here. I'm just uh, reminiscing about my deployment times. Um, but uh, the staff sergeant got uh, got a little too mad with the food that day and like chucked his apple juice or milk or whatever. And uh, oh shit! Oh shit! chucked his apple juice and it hit another airman and uh, it ended up landing and like getting his pants wet so the airman thought it would be a good idea to walk up to the staff sergeant and rub his crotch on him to like dry himself off needless to say the sergeant didn't like that and choked the airman out <laughs> oh shit so uh, needless to say his security forces was called and and they go, they detain him, and they, uh, that, that's that's where they piece the story together that I just told y'all. Um, oh shit, I got hit by something, what the fuck? So, yeah. I, uh, about two weeks later, I actually felt that same anger and frustration. Where I was just like, I, I am so sick of this fucking food right now. I got up and just like threw my food away. That's how mad I was with it. I was so tired of eating... I was so tired of eating French toast for breakfast. It was like French toast every fucking day for breakfast and I was sick of it. I can't even eat French toast anymore. Is that what the plane I need to take? Where'd it go? Uh, it's just a typhoon. I'm actually really glad that Ace Combat 7 implemented a, uh, a checkpoint system in the game. Because holy crap, it's like just getting a game over in this game and then like towards the end was awful. I wasted a missile. Right, let's see if I can get both these guys. Oh shit! I don't know, it kind of feels like they're doing that to me. Alright, I got one of them, so that's fine. I'm looking for the frickin' jammer, but I don't think there is one. Oh, wait, I think that was it. No, that's just a MiG. Where is it at?
Got him in the sunset. I'm like doing really bad on this mission. I got like one more hit on me and then I'm dead. I think I'm doing it. Assuming I don't get hit. Okay, one more, I think. Three more. Shit, four more. God damn it. There's so many out here. Okay, there we go. Targets. Really wishing I saved my missiles. Nope, too late. Missed it. Damn it, get these assholes off me. I, I don't even pay attention to what Chopper says, I just say yes, just to shut him up. too fast. Yeah, just drop it in the stadium, dude. Oh my god, this fucking F-17 is making me just miss. Finally, holy crap. I'm like so low on missiles right now. Being an asshole. Holy crap, finally. Alright, I think that's all the targets now. I don't see any more. Yep. Okay, so I think I just gotta survive now. That's all the targets taken out. Easy. And I was panicking for nothing.
Oh god damn it, more I hate to say this now, but there's a second enemy wave approaching. All units I don't I don't have the missiles for this shit. Okay, hopefully all I gotta do is just survive the two and a half minutes. Because I do not have the fucking missiles for this shit. Shit. I really don't want to get a game over here. Okay, I got one. Well, one of them did. No, I'm, I'm literally just trying to avoid missiles. They under or they overestimate me right now. Because I'm literally just trying to survive. And not run out of missiles. These guys are so dramatic. Being way over dramatic about this shit. That's what I like about this game. It's so fucking anime. It makes me wonder why they haven't made an Ace Combat anime. Seems like it would work, but I don't know. Oh, thank you, finally. God damn, this fucking mission. Easy mission. Leader Chopper. He won't be uh, as annoying anymore. Sorry about that, just have to go check on the dog, just to make sure he wasn't, you know, getting into trouble, which I don't think he was. Oh man, dogs man, they're uh, they're great, they're fun, but oh man, they can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Hey, S rank. Uh... Let's see. I've I've been thinking of like different ideas and stuff like that. 
Um, because I don't want to just like constantly be streaming video games. Um, not that I find it boring, and not that I don't mind showing you guys like, you know, or showing you guys like some of my favorite games, uh, stuff like that. But I've been trying to think of some other stuff to do. Look at that wreckage. I'm amazed you're still making them like this. Um, I'm I'm considering making like Saturdays. Because since I've done it like maybe the last few Saturdays where I did either some type of video editing or some type of artwork. I'm thinking about making Saturdays just, you know, something like that. But, I mean, the thing is, is with the video editing like that, or like that I did for my Halloween special, I have to have an idea. And lately, hey, it's Belka. And lately, I just haven't had an idea for a video yet. Um, I had thought about a Thanksgiving special, but I ended up scrapping it because I, I wouldn't have had time to throw it together. I mean, I would have, but it just what I wanted to do seemed a little too big for the time. Uh, so I'm putting it on the back burner, and I'm waiting until next next. Uh, Thanksgiving to do it. An aggressor um, entirely of I guess I should be thinking about the Christmas thing now. If I should do a Christmas. Yeah, maybe, maybe well, I'll do a Christmas special. I think I actually just got an idea now. So, we'll wait and see. Like wait and see with that. See uh, see what happens with that one. I bet the current administration isn't um, aware of the story. Maybe I should get... Nah, I can start on the Christmas special in December. I don't think I'm going to work all of December. Uh, I'm just going to take that entire month off to only work one week in November <laughs> and then nothing in December. Well, I, I want to go back to school too, so we'll see how that works out for me too. Yeah. Yeah, those two game overs I got really ate up time. To reach the enemy capital as quickly as possible. To do this, we will launch an air attack on Kurk Fortress. Our last attack sortie fell prey to their anti-aircraft guns and air defense fighters. Deal a decisive blow to the fortress and its surrounding air power, and support the ground forces as they penetrate the complex. Open the door to Kurk. The day of Sinegrad's liberation is near. Yay. All right. So what am I? What am I messing with? Ground targets? Hell yeah. Easy. Easy shit. All right. What, what am I on again? Eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. So let's see, 18, 19, 20, 21, three more missions, assuming I can do this one in a relatively quick time. Uh, let's see, you know what? Captain, which plane I'm gonna split it up. Are we launching in this formation? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, was, I was used to like pressing four buttons and now I had to only had to press three and it, oh man. That's uh that's weird. <laughs> it's just like, oh no, Chopper's not here. Pilots, check your plane and prepare for I don't want to refuel. I just want to get on with the game. Oh, is this mission? I remember this. No, come on. I, I, why does it never just lock on to the closest one?
Yeah, that's me. Because, uh, you know, I'm a badass. I'm thinking that the next series that I marathon may be the Gears of War series. Uh, I had I managed to pick up Gears of War 1, 2, and 3, like, maybe two weeks ago. And with Xbox Live shutting down soon, uh, I kind of want to give them a try one more time before they shut down for, for good. It really sucks that uh, they haven't brought... Uh, Gears of War 2 and 3 to, uh, what's it called? So, like, the Xbox store or whatever. Oh, God, Nagase, you're so overdramatic. Man, it's still not dead. Um, another series. So, uh, assuming I can do what I can, or uh, assuming I can make it to where I can, um, like do do seven missions tonight, and then you know, end. Because I'm I'm really trying to get this game done by Wednesday. At least, what? That's like four sessions. I want to say. Yeah, because I started last Monday and then I played. Uh, I played Monday. I did. I missed Wednesday. I played Friday. So Monday and Wednesday. So uh, four sessions. Yeah. Um. And then after that, I should aim for the middle one instead. because yeah so the darkness is going to be my my break um i'm really going to try to get that one done in two sessions it's been a while since i've played it so i don't really remember everything about it but i'm really going to try to get that one done in two sessions uh wednesday or this wednesday and hopefully next wednesday is when i'll get it done uh, Darkness is like one of my favorite games. If I can find it on PC, I'll play it on PC. If not, I have the Xbox 360 version. So, it, it'll work out either way. It'll work out regardless. I would like to play it on PC, just because I, I want to see what it looks like on PC. Uh, if not, like I said, I still have the 360 version to fall back on. Three for one, awesome. This guy's good. It's them. They're back again. Their attacks are so deadly, it's frightening. I can see how they'd be like demons to the enemy. Forces are inferior. They might just overrun us this time. I'm surprised those Sams aren't really tracking me. What the shit? I'm getting tracked more by these friggin' jet assholes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just getting schedules done in my head uh, at this point. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I've just been working on schedules and things to play like later on in the future. Um, because there's not really a lot of like games that are coming out right now that I'm really interested in. Um. I honestly can't even tell you like what's coming out now just because I'm I'm so out of the loop like there's literally nothing that's caught my attention yeah there's just like nothing that's caught my attention at all so that's why I've just been playing like older games 
Yeah, that's why I've just been playing older games. There's literally nothing that's really got my attention. Oh shit, oh shit. Uh, I was thinking about playing the Grand Theft Auto games, because it's been a while since I've played them. It's been a while since I've played any of the Grand Theft Auto games. Uh, I've never played 5. I remember getting it for free on the Epic Game Store, but I honestly have no idea what happened to that account. So I ended up making a new account. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, Nagase, you're so overdramatic. There we go. I wish these guys would move way faster. But yeah, Gears of War may be in the future. Uh, Darkness, definitely going to be playing that one on Wednesday. Uh, well, that, that's also assuming, uh, you know, I beat Ace Combat 5 on Wednesday within an appropriate time. But like I said, I... Oh, god damn it. But since I don't work Thursday, uh, may actually be able to do both of them. Uh, you know, despite how long it may take me to beat Ace Combat 5. Holidays, you gotta love them. Well, maybe you should fucking move faster. Holy shit. I know. There we go, finally. Bro, I did all the fucking work. Don't even try to take credit for that shit. Hey, send a message back to the enemy. This fortress has been successfully captured. We're going back to our country real soon. Not feeling OC as the bad guys. What a shame. The so-called impregnable fortress fell in half a day, and the momentum of the Ocean army had reached a peak. Its final stronghold lost, the Yugchabanian army was setting up a barricade in the urban area up ahead. The next battle could see a lot of bloodshed, with innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. However, the men and officers of the Ocean army were optimistic. They thought, as long as the three fighters from Sand Island were taking part in the action, things would turn out alright. They have become the center of the army's strength now. Hey, it's these dudes again. Oh, 
no. Ah, you thought you had me. What are you talking about? Yeah, they were the president people. to disperse as a oh man I forgot that this is what this mission led into okay easy I was just gonna sit here and dogfight him but if all we got to do is run I'll I'll do that Gotta serpentine it. Easy. Playing this on Ace is like way more, way more crazy. This is probably just giving someone motion sickness right now. We've got to escape the area. We have to return to base and let someone know about this. You know what? I always hear about people getting motion sickness in a video game and never got it myself. One of my buddies was playing BPM and he said that game gave him motion sickness, which is weird because it's just a first person shooter. And even he said it was weird because he doesn't get motion sickness from playing first person shooters. But uh, for some reason, BPM gave him motion sickness. They went one too far capturing that fortress. These pilots are the straw that broke the camel's back. Get them. Oh no, and there's more in front of me. Oh no. Don't let them escape no matter what. Oof. Oh my god, <laughs> my radar just will not shut up. I can't even fly, like, I can't even serpentine it properly. I'm literally just hard right and hard left. Oh my god, look at all those missiles behind me. Jeez. Alright, cover Uh, obviously they're the 8492nd. You fucking dumbass. Let's hurry back home. Finally, jeez. What time is it? I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one short. I, I didn't get to the mission that I wanted to, unfortunately. Uh, I also started the stream like, you know, 10 minutes late. So that also contributed to it. Unfortunately. Oh, man. So, we'll, we'll check this cutscene out, and then I'm going to call it the day, call it a night. Unless I know what next what the next mission is. President Harling is nowhere to be found within the capital. It wouldn't really. surprise me. The hardline war Osi is waging right now hardly resembles the peace policy the president was promoting. Let me guess. He disappeared just before we invaded Yuktabania, right? Exactly. My journalist friends told me that nobody's seen him enter or leave the office since. All of his decisions are communicated through the Vice President. And it gets better. 
a lot of the military officers that resigned over disagreement with the president's arms reduction plan have started to return to the capital. I found out something myself. That Belkin aggressive force I was telling you about. Apparently, they're called the 8492nd Squadron. Also, and here's the kicker, Captain Hamilton, the adjutant base commander here, used to be assigned to the 8492nd. What? Oh, they're back. There's no point in talking to that blockhead commander. He treated our president like an idiot just because he wanted peace. What about his adjutant, Captain Hamilton? Roger that. The captain and I will go see him. Grim, you go let Jeanette and Pops know. Right. Be careful. What? Oh, no. Nagase and the captain went to see Hamilton? What is it? Did I do something wrong? Yeah, you fucked up, Let's kid. Hurry. You got it. We don't have time to warn the captain and Nagase. We'll have to talk to the base commander ourselves. What's happening? Bro, pull your pants down. It shouldn't be that high up. Fucking whatever pants. Thank you for coming, second lieutenant. I was just thinking about calling you over. Me? Special Forces Second Lieutenant Peter N. Beagle. Or I guess you prefer Pops. Fifteen years ago, you and Bartlett were shot down over enemy terrain. Bartlett's squadron HQ was destroyed. And all of its data was fried by Belka's magnetic pulse weaponry. When you made it back to the Allied front lines, it was Bartlett's word that convinced them that you were his squadron leader. Is that really true? Oh no! Bartlett turned out to be a spy. So, who are you really? Can't prove anything about your military record. Can you? I forget how cool this cutscene is. Right now, you're just wasting shots. Arrest them on sight. They're spies. Shoot them if you have to. I wonder who did that. Hamilton's got the base commander deceived, too. I punched that guy's lights out. That bastard was wearing a Major's insignia on his shoulder. I don't know who it is, but someone's trying to widen the rift between the two countries and keep this war going. If OC continues to win, then the war will be over. And they're after us to prevent that? You're kidding! You people are the pillar of morale for the entire Ocean army now. And now you know something you were better off not knowing. The president's disappearance. Oh Listen, no. Who exactly are you? It's no good. They seized our planes in the hangars. Hangar C in the rear probably isn't so heavily guarded. Yeah. But over there, there's nothing but. We'll escape with my training jets. Oh Good thing no! I maintain all my planes well, eh? Let's try it. Jeanette, you take the seat behind me. These cutscenes are always weird because you're supposed to be involved in them, but they never show your character. So it just, I don't know, feels weird.
Why do they get to take off before me? Haha, uh, later. See you later, suckers. And then we never get to see our AWACS again. So where do we go now? We no longer have a home to return to. Attention all Air Force planes. Enemy spy elements have made off with four training jets and are heading north. Find them and Crispin shoot them Freeman, down. no. Repeat. Uh, is it just gonna throw me straight into a mission with no uh with no ways to fight back again? Well nah I had ways to fight back the last time. I just didn't want to. This is the E four ninety sector squadron. We have a visual on the enemy. Engage him. Oh man, it's literally just tossed me in. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Literally just crashed into my... What did I crash into? I crashed into the fucking other jet. Yeah, I did. <laughs> awesome. Alright, let's do this. This is why I don't like other people taking the lead. No. I can't believe it. You can believe what you want, but it's the truth. 8492nd Squadron, you have permission to shoot down those planes. 8492nd, Roger. I'll get you guys out of here. Y'all stay with me now. I'm. Do we literally have to, like, follow this guy? Because I really don't want to. I hate this mission so much. The ravine is widening up ahead. What's that? What is that? It's a scrapyard. Whoa. This is a graveyard for scrap planes. Oh yeah, um, I said I wasn't going to play JRPGs in this on this uh, channel, mainly because JRPGs are really long, like, <laughs> they can get pretty long sometimes, so I, I said I wasn't, but I have like this one series that's been in my, I don't want to call it a backlog, I, I, I don't want to be a backlog streamer, um, but... There is one series that I've been interested in trying out. I've just never had a chance to. Oh shit. Uh, it's called Lunar. And I, I have both Lunar 1 and 2 on the PS1. 
and I've been really interested in trying those out. They look pretty cool. Can we end this mission already, please? Or do we have to, like, fly through the entire thing? Because if that's the case, I could literally just, like, zoom all the way through it. Oh, man. Don't you hate it when you, uh, when you try to end the stream, and then the game says no, and it just forces you into another mission without your consent? always sucks imagine forcing gamers to play a game without their consent oh shit I was readjusting my mic and took my hand off the controller yes And then, uh, on my last outing to look for video games, I picked up the Lord, the Lord of the Rings games on the Xbox, because I really liked, I really liked Two, two Towers. I never cared much for the movies, but I li really liked the Two Towers video game. And, uh, I thought the Two Towers movie was okay. Uh, it's probably one of my, f it's probably one of my more favorites of the of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but overall I didn't care much for that series. Um, I don't know. I think I just like the action and that's about it. Other than that, like, I, I really didn't like Lord of the Rings. I remember falling asleep when the movie first came out. I fell asleep in the theater with it. Yes, please, let's, let's do this. I ended up falling asleep during the first Lord of the Rings movie when I went to go see it in theaters. And then I saw, and then I saw part two with my dad, and I ended up staying up for that one because it was actually fun because it was literally just an action movie throughout the whole thing. Uh oh. And then uh, I didn't care much for part three. I remember going to go see it with some family, but I I really didn't like it. Oh, shut up, Grim! Holy fuck! Grim, you're such a crybaby. Cool. I am cool. Oh shit. I would I would have been really mad if I crashed right there. The fact that I'm doing this in first person too is Hey, yes. Always say yes to the dog. Yeah, I'm literally doing it. And I'm doing it well. Oh shit. I really gotta stop taking my eye off the screen. Pops, where are you? Grim, don't deviate from the course. There he is. How's Jeanette doing? You haven't passed out yet. The guy's pretty tough. Imagine taking your dog onto a fucking Oh man. What? What the hell do you mean, Phil? What the fuck do you mean, failed? Are you fucking kidding me? I literally followed this dude throughout the whole fucking thing. And it tells me mission failed. And I gotta do the whole fucking thing again. It's them. What the fuck was that shit? Oh my god. 
literally wasted a good 10 minutes doing this fucking bullshit. Was right there at the fucking end, too. Oh my god. That really was fucking bullshit. Now I gotta sit through all this fucking... Literally a fucking cutscene of a mission. It's a fucking Metal Gear mission. Oh my god. If I was playing on an emulator, I literally would've just cut it off right here. I would've just save stated it and just fucking quit. But I haven't hit a save spot yet in a while. Oh my god. This fucking mission, man. What's that island down there? Damn it. My radar's out. That's a volcanic island. There's a strong magnetic field. I can't fly like this. I can't fly third person anymore. I can only fly first person now. It looks too weird for me. Oh my god. Shut up, Pops. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that clip and see what the fuck just happened on that failed mission. Because that was fucking bullshit. I was literally following him. And then it's just like, hey, you fucked up. How? How the fuck did I fuck up? This fucking game, man. I'm literally becoming my least favorite Ace Combat now. Fuck it. Ace Combat 4 is my favorite Ace Combat now. Fucking hate this game now. Gives me a fucking game over for nothing. Shut up, Grim. I take it back, I miss Chopper. He's like the only sane one in the group. He was like the less dramatic of the three here. Or the three. Now I gotta deal with fucking Nagase and Grim. Alright, are we coming up on the cave yet? Hey, you still keeping up with me? Yes. Good, that's it. Those folks sure don't seem to like us very much. I swear this mission, man. I don't even know how you fail this mission when, like, there's literally no way to fail it. Unless the game just thought that, I, you know, I was being an asshole. Okay, cool. We're, like, halfway there then. Where's the cave at? Ah, 
Cyclops. I can't even see a cave out here. There it is. Now I gotta listen to Grim fucking nut himself again. Look at this shit. Easy. There he goes, nutting himself. Cool as a cucumber, man. You don't gotta worry about me. Yeah, I agree too, Scooby. Yeah, they're okay. We've literally just been flying in a straight line. Okay, here's where I got the game over. Okay, there. Now, is it gonna give me the game over? Oh, you're not. And turn on your headlights. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this mission. Jeez. Fuck this mission. Right, you don't wear sunglasses? Or your aviators? You fucking lied to me. You said there was fucking sunlight out here. There it is. Holy crap. Fuck this mission, man. Holy, holy shit. Now hopefully I just don't fucking game over randomly. Hurry up. End. End. Come on. Let's go. I hate this mission. Are you sure about that? Hey, and he's got an F-14, Navy boy. It's a signal light. Trust me. Bail out. He wants us to bail out. What say we trust him? Hey, there's me. This is Pix. I do not see any floating debris in the water. 
easy. Easy mission, guys. Damn. Asshole getting a medal off of our fucking sacrifice. Easy. Let's see what mission I'm on. All 19? Okay. So that means... 8 missions next time? Yeah, because I gotta... Yeah, oh man, it's already 9.40. Jeez. Yeah, because I gotta get stuff ready for, for uh, work tomorrow. Kerwin Island. Hey, the Kestrel. I remember that boat. Captain Anderson. The man who commanded the aircraft carrier Kestrel and kept her afloat through countless battles. Nah. Now I'm just a guy who's fought one losing battle after another. Rip. However, since this war began, this ship hadn't taken a single hit from enemy forces. This ship may be unharmed, but it pains me to see fewer and fewer pirates coming back every time we launch them out on combat sorties. Now the only pilot left is Captain Snow, the squad leader. Nobody wants an aircraft carrier without aircraft. So we're just sitting idle here. Rip. At the end of the last war, I was assigned the mission of dropping a nuclear weapon on a city in my own country. Hmm. When I refused and went AWOL, it was Captain Bartlett who took me in. His nickname was also Kid back then. He was a strange man. Fifteen years since the war and he never got promoted once. In my country, there was a group called the Gray Men. I'm likely to still be around today. To them, don't worry, being promoted ain't nothing. And for the past 15 years, it's actually better you don't. Like being an E4 was like the easiest the job in the world. You don't think the Gray Men are involved with the disappearance of President Harlan, do you? I've got an intelligence gathering vessel in my fleet, the Andromeda. That's capable of intercepting all forms of communication. Recently, it picked up a secret message transmitted in Delton. That, Colonel, is why I called all of you here. All this intense flying's tough on an old body. From here on out, it's their time to shine. Hmm. But what do we do about planes? We've captured a ship trying to smuggle aircraft from a South Belkin company into Yucabania. Plenty of planes to choose from. Holy shit, finally. This game just right. really turned Army into a objectives. fucking Metal Gear Solid cutscene for a minute there. God damn. We're launching the rescue operation for the president of Osea within the principality of Belka. The communications intelligence ship Andromeda received information that Andromeda. That's a cool ship name. In Belka. The location is an old castle positioned on the southern edge of the border zone between Belka and North Osea. Sea Goblin, our helicopter squadron, will handle the direct rescue effort. After securing the area, a helicopter will descend on the castle and drop our infiltrating rescue squad. It will station keep in the air while the rescue is taking place on the ground and in the castle. 
Your mission is to provide air support for the team. And we got a fourth guy now. We're back at we're back up at four. Sorry, Chopper, but you've been replaced. Sub C Goblin. Okay. Finally. God damn. Alright, so I'm gonna have to try to finish this off next time. So like I said, I gotta I gotta get some stuff ready for lunch tomorrow or I gotta get some stuff ready for work tomorrow. So I'm gonna take off here. And I also gotta go to bed soon. So thanks guys for showing up. Uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Uh, next Wednesday, same time, 7 p.m. Central, Ace Combat 5, finishing it up. And since I don't work Thursday, I'll also be starting The Darkness, either on Xbox 360 or on PC. Uh, it's to be debated. And then Friday will be Mecha Games as well. Um, yeah, Friday will be Mecha Games again. And then... What else? Is that? Hey, what's up? Tell uh, tell Frankie I said good night. And then Friday will be Mecha Games as usual, and I think that's about it. It's <laughs> ten four. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Rip.